Yes, sir, folks, check this out. This is no joke. Some of my best memories I've ever made in my whole life have been complete spur of the moment, which there's a good chance folks, we're, what we're doing right now. I just got done editing a video. Austin shows up and shows me a trail camera picture of a boar hog we've been after for like three years now. We nicknamed him Trash Can because this joker's mean as a junkyard dog and he's absolutely the ugliest hog I've ever seen in my life. Problem is, Sarah was getting ready to make dinner for me and the girls. And I was like, babe, I'm going to the ranch. She gave me that eye and I was like, babe, I'm only gonna have the ranch for a couple more weeks. We gotta do it. Therefore, I would like to thank Blue Nile for sponsoring this video, folks. Hey you guys, you know I love hunting and fishing. I am super familiar with the outdoors. Unfortunately, I'm not super familiar with jewelry. And my wife, she loves jewelry. And hey, I got two daughters and they love jewelry too. That's how I originally found BlueNile.com. We were getting engaged, I went online, and it's like a wealth of knowledge. BlueNile.com can help you understand what you're getting so that you get the best quality at the best price. I try to be frugal, I don't waste money. That's why I shop at BlueNile.com. I seriously cannot believe he got these. They are stunning. When you commit to buying jewelry, Blue Nile stands by that commitment with guaranteed service and repair for life. When your jewelry comes to the house, it's in a discreet little box, so if it's a gift, nobody knows. Blue Nile offers a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Shop stress-free with guaranteed free shipping and returns. And if you're in a hurry, most cases, Blue Nile can ship overnight. So go to BlueNile.com to find your perfect jewelry gift today. Click on the link in the description below and be sure to use code DMFD to get $50 off your purchases of $500 or more. We love Blue Nile and I think you will too. Okay, you guys, it is impossible to go to the woods without pork rind. Safety first, always fasten your seatbelt. Mmm. Find it. Ooh. Preemptive thinking, I got me a Gatorade because I'm already expecting to kill one this afternoon. And if we do, I'm gonna be thirsty. That boogie gone. Now, there's another issue that we're dealing with. We got a huge storm coming from the west. It's going across Lake Okeechobee right now, heading this way. So the odds are stacked to get against us. And I'm telling you right now, if we don't get one, I'm gonna be in even more trouble. If I get one, Sarah should be proud of me and everything be cool. We'll see what happens. Hold on a second. I'm gonna tell y'all something. That <laughs> could very well be the worst looking pizza I've ever seen. And that's what Austin Crocker just got. Yeah, it tastes good to me. Yeah, it's coming for sure. Looks like the rain beat us here, but we got a gap in the storm. We got another storm coming and one that just passed. So, let's we'll see what happens. I do have frog dogs, ace in the hole. So this is not going exactly as planned. Because we're, you know, we lost the ranch, many of you guys know, the place sold and the people wouldn't renew the lease. So I lost the ranch. I have from now until May 7th to get all my stuff off. As you can see, I'll show you all the feeders and everything like that. But my bow, I got a brand new bear execute, ready to go. And it was in the camp. But when we started moving everything, everyone moved it there. But I got Aria's crossbow in the back of my ranch truck with a couple worn out bolts. So let's see how we're looking. Take that old red fletching, put it down, the make sure it's seated well. What I hit. <laughs> we thought I missed, but after further inspection, I drilled it. What else would I expect? The question is, do you think these fletchings are gonna be worth the reason they're so beat up like that is because it shoots through everything. It's on, let's go. Rob. Oh. <laughs> 
There he is, garbage can. That might be the biggest boar hog I've ever seen on this ranch. No one has ever seen him in person. But I got my Onyx, I got my bear crossbow, and I got that Oracle X. That joker right there, don't mess around. There's nothing else on the market like it. And if it all works out right, look at me, I'm shaking. My damn hands are shaking right now, I'm so jacked up. I got two arrows and I'm shooting Aria's crossbow. Baby, I love you. You ready, bro? Yeah. Sounds like the lightning's ready as well. I'm holding the daggum bear lightning rod in my hand. Listen, folks, Operation Waste Management is underway. We're, everything is taking longer than expected right now, but uh, I think we're gonna get it done. gonna miss this place more than you could possibly imagine like all this where we're driving right now used to be a jungle we came in here with all the guys from Everglades farm equipment totally cleaned it up I mean just so much work making this place a home and now I have nothing I got a couple weeks left and then I'll probably never see this place again in my life but you know what I may lose the ranch, but I ain't losing y'all. Deer meat for dinner is my home, baby. And I appreciate y'all being a part of it. good this camera image quality is going to be but this is as real as it gets we're as real as mayonnaise y'all
dude, he was so camouflaged. I swear to God, I was looking past him. Dude, look at this. Look at this. Look at that, man. You want to talk about a bad dude? That is a bad dude. Look at the teeth on that sucker. Look at the shield, man. His shield comes all the way back into his rib. That is 100% fierce. This is my Bear X crossbow. It's got a Burris Oracle X on the back. And then Austin at camp just mounted this GoPro right there. When we came here, it was pouring down rain, thunder and lightning. We threw on our frog togs, we got into place. Sure enough, all we saw were turkeys. Waiting, 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 waiting. Next thing you know, this big joker right here comes slipping in the back door, baby. And we got it done. Croc, man. That was awesome. If you're a hunter, whether you're a new hunter or a seasoned pro, you always got to be prepared. Be ready. That's why I shot the bow while I was at the house. Make sure everything's in good shape. Broadheads are sharp. My, my sight's ready to go. On X, you're always checking your wind. Make sure that you've got a solid wind. We needed an east wind where this hog's going to come through this field. And uh, then you got to spend time in the woods because you dang sure can't kill him on the couch. Birdie Speed Wagon has arrived, folks. Operation Waste Management is in full effect, you guys. Okay, Crocker, you're going to have to set the camera down. I want to see you try it one time. Come man, I already got a bad back. I mean, just show them how how heavy. Just show it really them is. how grown men strength works. Yeah. This ain't this for all you boys out there. It's how <laughs> grown men do things. <laughs> now he's definitely going in. <laughs> There you go. Hey, I ain't as good as I once was. Toby Keith, we're thinking about you, man. I know you're sick. You got a lot of fans that are pulling for you, praying for you. All right, you guys. We got him hung up, old trash can. And if you wonder why I've got him tied off like this, it's so he doesn't spin. Now, as you know, YouTube has some really strict policies and I'm not able to clean this hog on this video, but because of you guys, that's the only reason I've ever had the ranch in the first place. So I'm gonna make an unlisted video. If you wanna watch me clean the hog, click on the link in the description below and you'll see me clean this hog and I'm doing it just for y'all. Totally unmonetized for you. If you don't wanna watch that, hey, I'll see you in the kitchen because I'm about to cook tonight. I got one of them back straps. And tonight, I'm taking Sarah out on a special date. She got her new earrings, she wants to get dressed up, and that's what we're gonna do. So in the meantime, I'm cooking me and the boys some comfort food. This is a great way to take a wild hog back strap and turn it into something awesome. Cut your silver skin off. You've got your trimmed out back strap, now you're gonna turn it into beautiful little medallions. Just like that. Put a little salt on them, pepper. A little more pepper. And just a touch more for good luck. Can't forget Everglades original. Throw in some flour. Once all your meat is pan fried, then you take a little bit of that flour that you were seasoning your meat with and put it right in there. This is a key element of this situation. There we go. And that flour, as it cooks, it's gonna start soaking up all the, all the oil. That's the perfect consistency that you're looking for. Take yourself a little bit of broth, pour it in there. I like that. Sebastian, you hungry? Yes, sir. Just keep rubbing the bottom of your pan gently till all that goodie's gone. When you're making your gravy, make sure you do it on a low to medium low heat. Otherwise, you're liable to burn it.
This is a meal I grew up on. We call it Wild Hog a la Miss Betty. We grew up eating grits and wild meat. And this is one of the meals we lived on. You could do this with deer meat, hog meat, any kind of meat. Take you a bunch of it and just pour, put it all around your grits just like that. Make it fall in love. You ever had hog meat like this? No, not really. Mm. Dude, got the money. Mm. Good, huh? Wow. I always say the same thing, guys. I wish you all were here when we're eating because this tastes amazing. Mm. Wow. Takes me back to my childhood, baby. When I was a kid, I'd be over behind John Ed's house hunting with my BB gun. We always have a, we always have a, a southeast wind. And when mom was cooking, I could smell when she was cooking deer meat or hog meat like this. That'd be one of the few ways to get me home early. Mmm. Incredible. Well, hey guys, listen. I appreciate you guys for taking the time to hang out and watch this. That was an absolutely epic hunt yesterday, and I would like to thank Blue Nile for sponsoring this video. Their support helps us do what we do, and uh, I appreciate them for that. I'm gonna go get a shower, get cleaned up, and taking Sarah out on a beautiful date tonight. I'll see y'all soon. Take care, God bless. And guess what? We gone. <laughs>